Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you're doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our 12th lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called Commercial Arithmetics 2. So we are looking at our 25th example, which reads that Juma wants to buy a computer on higher purchase. The cash price of the computer is 40,000 shillings. Juma makes a down payment of 14,000 shillings followed by 16 equal monthly installments of 2,625 shillings. Calculate the rate of compound interest per month correct to two decimal places. So because you are dealing with compound interest and you are given uh, the installments, of course, we are going to use the formula connecting uh, those particular two. So the formula for amount, uh, which states that the amount, the amount of uh, compound interest will always be equal to the total uh, installments, the total installments. Therefore, this is the formula that is going to connect this particular two. Now, because we are told calculate the rate of compound interest per month. So we are dealing with compound interest. We know that to get the amount for compound interest, uh, the formula is uh, the principal, then into one plus the rate of 100, then of course to the power of n. This should be equal to uh, the total installment is always given by the period, uh, the period of installment multiplied by uh, each installment, multiplied by each installment. So clearly from the formula, we shall need uh, the principal. Therefore, we can calculate the principal of uh, this particular compound interest. Now we know that principal, uh, the principal is always given by the difference between the cash price minus the deposit. Remember the other term for deposit is also called the uh, down payment. The down payment is uh, a synonym for the word uh, deposit. So this will be equal to, we are given that the cash price that was to be paid was 40,000 shillings. So we'll take 40,000 uh, shillings, then minus the down payment paid or the deposit was 14,000 shillings. So we less uh, 14,000 shillings. You feed this on the calculator, 40,000 minus 14,000. Your calculator will give you 26 a thousand shillings therefore this was the principal or the uh, remaining amount so having gotten our principal we can now substitute in our formula and uh, the formula was a uh, principal which was p so the principal is the formula was uh, the principal into one plus red of a hundred uh, power n should give us the period uh, multiplied by the amount of uh, each installment. So the principal is 26,000 uh, shillings, then into one, then plus the rate. Remember the rate is the unknown, that is what we are looking for, of 100 to the power of. The period is N, but because they want the rate, uh, we are told to calculate the rate of compound interest per month. It means that we are going to work with our period being in month. Therefore, uh, the period of installment was 16. Therefore, our N will be 16. Remember, if we were to compute the rate uh, per annum, we will have divided the 16 divided by 12. So that will be converting it into uh, years because we know that uh, a 12 month is equals to uh, one year. So we'll have asked ourselves, what about 16 months? So it will be 16 over 12, then multiplied by uh, one year. But because they want the rate per month. That is why I'm not going to convert the 16 into uh, per annum or per year. So this should be equal to the period of uh, investment was uh, 16 equal monthly installment. Then each monthly installment was worth uh, 2000. Uh, so we are going to multiply with each installment, which is 2625 shillings. Therefore, our task is just to compute for the uh, value of R, of course, which is the uh, unknown in this particular case. Now, to compute for R, the first step, we are going to divide on both sides of the equation by uh, 26,000. So I'm going to have 26,000 uh, into 1 plus rate of 100 to the power of 16 being equal to 
If I take 16,000 multiplied by 2,625, this is going to give me uh, 42,000 uh, shillings. Therefore, I'm having 26,000 uh, into uh, 1 plus red of 100, then to the power of uh, 16, uh, being equal to 42,000 shillings. So I'm going to divide through uh, by 26,000. Uh, so divide this other side by uh, 26,000. So of course, these two will cancel out. So we remain with the uh, 1 plus red of 100 uh, to the power of uh, 16 uh, being equal to. So if you, I can cancel out the three zeros so that I'm remaining with uh, 42 uh, divided by uh, 26, 42 divided by 26. To get the value of uh, R, I'm going to take 16th root on both sides of this equation. Uh, 16th root. I also take uh, 16th root on this side so that uh, the 16th root can uh, cancel out with the power 16. So this will be equal to 1 plus red of 100 uh, being equal to now, to fit this on the calculator, you're going to type uh, 16 followed by shift, then followed by uh, this particular simple, then followed by, you open bracket, you take 42, uh, divided by 26, then you close bracket. Then, of course, you press equal sign. So, if you do that, your calculator will give you a 1 plus rate of 100 uh, being equal to. So, you press this particular instructions. Uh, your calculator is going to give you uh, 1.030 uh, so of course that means we'll have r over 100 uh, being equal to 1.030043 of course if this one crosses equal sign it will be minus so it will be minus 1 so that means um, we are gonna remain with uh, the following so we're going to have uh, r being equal to so r over 100 uh, will be equal to if you take 1.03043 uh, 0, minus 1 of course you're gonna get uh, 0. Uh, 0. 0.03043 so to get the value of r we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 100 i also multiply this by 100 so that uh, the two zeros can cancel out so of course 100 will shift my decimals twice so this is one two so that means R will be equal to 3.043%. Uh, then, of course, this is per month because you are getting the uh, compound interest per month. So this was to be per month. Now, the question wants me to leave my answer correct to two decimal places. So that means my rate will be equal to 3.04%. Then, of course, uh, per month. So this one is correct to two decimal places then we look at our example 26 uh that is example 26 which reads that a dvd recorder is offered for sale at eight thousand shillings or a deposit of a uh, one thousand uh, and fifteen monthly repayments or simply the installments of 840 shillings find the rate of interest compounded a monthly that is being charged under the higher purchase term so of course we are told to get the rate of compound interest therefore it simply means that you are dealing with a compound interest and we know that the amount the amount of a compound interest must always be equal to uh, the total installments it must be equal to the total installments therefore this is the formula that will connect these two so from this formula we need to have uh, the principal into 1 plus rate of 100 to the power of n must be equal to the period of installment, then of course multiplied by uh, each installment, multiplied by each installment or each uh, repayment. So clearly we shall need the principal. So we know that the principal, uh, the principal uh, will be equal to the cash price or simply put the marked price, sometimes called the, uh, the buying price, then of course you less the uh, deposit, uh, you less the initial uh, deposit. So this will be equal to the cash price. Uh, we are told that a DVD a recorder is offered for sale 
at 8,000 uh, shillings. So this was simply the cash price or the marked price of the DVD uh, decoder. So this will be uh, 8,000 uh, shillings minus the deposit that was made. So we are told or a deposit or simply a down payment of a thousand. Uh, so the deposit was a thousand uh, shillings. So this will give us uh, seven uh, thousand shillings. Therefore, this will be our uh, principal. Now the formula was at uh, the principal into one plus rate of a hundred then to the power of n should give us uh, the period of investment multiplied by the amount of uh, each installment. So the principal is 7,000 uh, shillings into one then plus the rate that is what you are looking for. So the rate of 100 to the power of the period of repayment was 15 months. So they want the rate compounded monthly. So that means the period will be retained in monthly basis. Therefore, the period is a 15 months, which is equals to the period is still 15 months multiplied by each installment was worth 840 shillings. So multiplied by uh, 840 shillings. So this is going to give us the following. So I'm going to have a 7,000 uh, into one plus rates of 100 to the power of 15 being equal to, you take 15 multiplied by 840 shillings. This will give you uh, 12,600 uh, shillings. So that means we are still having the following. So we have 7,000 uh, into one plus rate of 100 to the power of uh, 15 uh, being equal to uh, 12,600 uh, uh, shillings. So this is 12,600 shillings. So I'm gonna divide both sides of the equation by 7,000 also divide here by a uh, 7,000. So this two will cancel out. So I'm having one plus rate of 100 to the power of uh, 15 uh, being equal to, if you take 12,600 divided by 7,000, your character will give you 1.8. Uh, so to get the value of R, I'm going to take 15th root on both sides of the equation. I also take uh, 15th root uh, on this other side of the equation. So 15th root and power 15 will cancel out. So we are having one plus red of 100 being equal to. So to get the 15th root, of course, you fit this on the calculator, you press a 15, uh, followed by shift, then followed by uh, this simple, uh, then followed by uh, open bracket, no, followed by a uh, 1.8. So you'll have one plus rate of uh, 100 uh, being equal to, you press these instructions, that is 15, shift this simple than 1.8, your calculator is going to give you uh, 1.03996. Uh, uh, so of course, that means we are uh, having R of 100 being equal to 1.03996 uh, minus one. So this will be R of 100 uh, being equal to uh, 0 0.03996. So to get the value of um, R, we are going to multiply both sides of the equation by 100. So multiplied by 100, multiplied by 100. So of course, these two will cancel out. So 100 will shift our decimals twice. So this is 1, 2. So that means the value of R will be equal to at 3.996 uh, percent then of course this is it was compounded monthly therefore this is at the rate per month so this will be the rate of the compound interest per month so thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson and not take it for granted in case you're new to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button and also Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.